to the science lab and today our topic is addition, substitution, multiplication and revision. Through this arithmetic operation, we're going to try to understand one of the uh, properties of mathematics and that is the commutative property. Now, uh, let's take a look. Memorization is a crime. Alright, now, um, can you tell me what is commutative property? Yeah. What is it? When you switch the numbers, the operation or the sum is the same. Okay, very nice, very good. And indeed, there is the definition of commutative property. Now let's see whether the student understand it. Probably this student memorized the definition. We'll check it. All right, now give me an example. So um, one plus two is three and one plus two is also three. So no matter what, one plus two will always be three. That's not the switching the numbers. You said switching the numbers. So can you try, okay, I'll write one plus two. Yeah, yeah, sure. One plus two is three, that's indeed true. Oh, and then, okay, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. And three is equal to one plus two. So no matter what you do. Try again. So this is the first time, this is the second time, right? Yeah. So first time plus second time is three. Okay. And can you think, can you write the second term? Before the first term, and see whether does the does give the same thing. Okay. Do you mean like two plus one? Yeah. Oh, and that's also gonna be three. All right. Absolutely. So that is what oh, the that's what you property. Mean. Yes. So when oh, you switch okay. the term, it still give you the same answer. Okay. All right. Let's make it. So um, let's make it um, abstract. Okay. All right. Um, n plus n is how much? Uh, two one. Easy. N plus two n is how much? Well, uh, this is the <laughs> invisible one. Mm -hmm. So one plus two is three, and then I put the n, three n. All right. So two n plus three n is how much? Again, I have to add the coefficient. Two plus three is five, and then put the n. Five n. Okay. Very five n. Yeah. Very good. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna move to the next one, uh, and that is the subtraction. What do you think of a subtraction? Is it a commutative property or not? Well, it has to be. Addition is also commutative. So. Oh, before we do that, let's do the addition again. Oh. Let's do the addition again because I want I want to check whether you can do double digit addition. Oh. So I'm gonna give you two number. Um, three hundred twenty nine mm -hmm. plus uh plus fifty three. All right. So what I want to stack them on top of each other. So it is the number. Okay. Remember the number, and stack them on top of each other and show me that you can do okay. uh, addition. So first number. First, is it wrong. first stack it wrong. Oh. Yeah. So you said to stack them, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see the fifty-three and three twenty-nine. So no, no, that's not how you're gonna stack them. When when I say Five, so five two nine uh -huh. and thirty nine, right? Thirty, yeah. Sure. So this is this stack. So that's wrong. Oh. And then you want to stack them over here. Thirty nine. Oh. Thirty nine, and that's also wrong. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is... I need the total. So five twenty nine and thirty nine. Those okay. are the number. Yeah. Okay. So um. Okay, so I have to stack them, you said? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's put the 529 and 39. That's wrong. That's okay. wrong. Because look, uh, this 9 is, mm -hmm. this 9 is at one, one place, right? Okay. This 9 is? One place. 10 place. Ten. It's 10 place. This is 1, this is 10, this is 100. Oh. So you should align them according to their place value. Mm -hmm. You have to align them according to their place value. Try again. I see what you mean. Try again. So let's see. Now I'm going to try again. 529. And you said align according to place value. Yeah, align according to place value. I'll put 39. Yes, you did, in fact, align according to place value. Let's mm -hmm. make it change just for mm -hmm. the, this this 29. There doesn't have to be the mm -hmm. same number to be aligned. Oh, okay. This can be one. But that can be one. Yeah, that can be one and it's still oh. aligned on the same one because oh. this is once. Place value, this is? One. One place value. Oh, okay. okay. This is how many group of one? One. This is how many group of... No, uh, this is how many group of nine? Yeah, how many group of one? Nine. This is how many group of uh, two? Uh, this is how many group of ten? Two. 
This is how many group of 10? 3. This is how many group of 100? 5. Okay. Awesome. Alright, go ahead. So, first thing I'm gonna do is add up 1 and 9. Alright. So, 1 plus 9 is just gonna give me 10. Okay, but so, you cannot put uh, 1 over here, okay? It's kind of on. It's kind of blocking the way oh, for tens. Block the way for the next. Yep. Next column. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So then I'll just put the zero for ten here. Yeah, and then carry over. Carry over the one over here. Sure, sure, sure. So now I have to add up the next column. Okay. So one plus two is three. Mm -hmm. Plus three will give me six. Really. So, wow, this is almost a very nice number. Yeah. And finally, five plus. You can put an imaginary zero over here oh, okay. because if there is nothing, you can put a zero. Oh, so okay. this is uh, how many group of hundred? Zero group. Good. Zero group so of hundred doesn't change anything. Five plus zero five is five. Six. So my final answer is five sixty. All right, very good. <laughs> All right, now can you extend that? Yeah. And then you still get the same answer. What do you mean extend? Uh, extend five twenty one. Oh yeah, expand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Now I'm gonna try to do Ex like yeah, expand. Ex expand it. Okay. So, so 529. So 521. Right? 521. Times. Not times. 39. Oh, oh was sorry. It? Yeah. Plus, plus 39. 39. Yeah. So you said I have to expand. Ex expand okay. it. Okay. So first thing I'll do is look at this, uh, sorry, 5. No, let's just start with 1. Oh, we start with the one. This yeah. one. Yeah. So this one you can just write as one. Write one. No, no big deal. Yeah, one plus plus this two you can write as twenty. Two group of ten. Yeah. Twenty. This five you can write as five group of hundred. So five hundred, right? Mm hmm Okay. So that's that's it for five twenty. All right. Okay. Now I have to do the second number. Yes. So thirty nine I can write as. Three groups of oh, one, one, one group yeah, nine group of one, nine group of one plus um, three, three group, group of, of 10, ten plus zero group of hundred plus zero group of hundred. You can write zero plus zero plus zero, zero group of hundred. Okay. okay, so now I just have to add them up. Yeah, so one plus nine is gonna give me 10, 20 plus 30 is gonna give me 50, mm -hmm. and finally plus just 500. Yeah, so 500 plus 10 plus 50. 560 same answer very good so you have a preference very nice all right now let's do the subtraction what do you think subtraction is a commutative property or not uh, it has to be it has to be so. oh really oh uh, <laughs> by the maths mathematical oh uh, okay so wow well, okay so let's see oh. uh we say that one plus two is uh three three mm -hmm. and uh two plus one is mm, three three mm -hmm. so well, now we are saying one minus two so oh. one minus two, you're gonna write it over here, and you wanna say um, and two minus one. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Try. One minus two is how much? So one minus two is gonna be minus one. Yeah. And two minus one? Two minus one is. Is that same? Um, no. All right. So this is the indeed commutative property. You write. However, this is not a commutative property. Oh, because right. these are not same. Yeah, so you don't have to feel bad uh, for subtraction yeah. because I mean, you know, come on, this is not like subtraction. Something bad is subtraction. It's not. It's not like you know. It doesn't have commutative. Right. It doesn't satisfy the commutative property. That right. doesn't. That doesn't make it evil, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that doesn't. Well, yeah, that doesn't make subtraction evil. Right, right. right. Don't think that it doesn't hold the commutative property make it evil. No, no, it no. does not. Okay. So let's make it a little abstract, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So n minus n. N minus n. Yeah. What is it? Zero. Anything minus itself is so zero. Two n minus n. Two n minus n. So n. Good. N minus two n. Oh, you flip them. Yeah. Minus n. Minus n. All right, so they are not same, right? No. So it's not a commutative property. No matter how you try it, no matter what you use to try it, it's not a commutative yeah. property. Uh, however, that doesn't make it evil. Okay. Maybe it makes it evil. Who knows? But it's not commutative property. Mm. Okay? okay. So now let me give you two um, two number. Okay. Uh, five three nine uh, minus um, okay. thirty five. Right? Minus thirty five. Okay. So go ahead, do it. Okay. So. You can um, you can uh, stack them up. Stack them up. It is this. So now I know the right way to stack up. So five thirty nine. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> five thirty nine minus thirty five. Ah, very good. 
So All right, so them on. nine and five on the on the one place value. On the one three place and three value. are one place, uh, ten place value. Ten and place five value. is on the hundred place value. Never forget to put zero over here. And oh, okay. okay, good. Try. Okay, so first things first, nine minus five. Mm -hmm. So nine minus five is pretty easy. Sure. So four. Mm -hmm. Next up is three minus three. Mm -hmm. Three minus three, pretty easy. Zero. Mm -hmm. And five minus zero, pretty easy. It's five. All right, now let's say um, thirty-five minus. Um, 539. Mm. Well, no, I, I'm gonna give you something else. I'm gonna give you 514 mm -hmm. and then negative 39. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, if I could do the last one, I can do this. Hopefully. So, again, I have to start by the first column. Yeah, sure. So, 4 minus. Uh, yeah, I can't right. do this one. You put yeah. a... So, you have to borrow. Have to borrow all yeah. from the from the neighbor from the neighbor so look at the neighbor look at the one yeah this one i'm gonna take away take away 10. yeah 10 very good take away 10 because it's 10 um, place value but write one but write one yeah so if you take away uh, uh, yeah so if you take zero. away it is 10 right one group of 10 one and you take away 10 so then how many zero. how many group of 10 zero, zero group of 10 zero group of 10 so you have zero group of 10 that's what we're telling ourselves right and then we're gonna put it over there and then put a kind of one over oh, here one over there right okay so now instead of four now i have one yeah or rather 14. yeah 14. so now i'm gonna do 14 minus nine yeah it's how much it's gonna be five very good now zero group of 10 so, so zero, zero group of uh, 10 you, you know you, you you have to borrow again i have to borrow again from the five, five. yeah Okay, so uh, hundred, uh, five group of hundred. Five group of hundred become four. Group four group of, group of hundred. And I put that extra one over here. Yeah. Okay, so now I have to do ten minus three. Mm -hmm. Ten minus three is gonna give me seven. All uh, right. So you have four and group of hundred. Oh, you. Oh, I forgot to put imaginary zero here. Yeah, you can. So four minus zero, you can give me four. four seven. Very nice. Now we're gonna do yeah. multiplication. Okay. Multiplication. So can you? Yeah, yeah. Can you please guess whether multiplication is commutative property or not? Cannot be. Yeah. This yeah. cannot be because just because the intersection uh, was not commutative property. Yeah. All right. Let's, is like a special let's see. One. So one plus one plus mm -hmm. two is equal to and uh, two plus one <coughs> is equal to. Okay. Okay. One plus one minus two is equal to two minus one is equal to. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna do one times two. Is equal to and two times one is equal to. All right, let's do them right here. Amazing. Okay. So let's see. One plus two is three. Two plus one is three. All right. So what that tells us? Addition commutative. Good. One minus two minus one. Two minus one. Uh, one. All right. That makes it look like an evil, but it's okay. It's not commutative. Good. Uh, one times two. Two. Two times one, two. So, so it's passed the test. It's passed the test. It's passed the test. So it's commutative. It doesn't make it look good. Makes it look better to me. Yeah, good. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So uh, let's make it a little complicated. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, uh, n times n. N times n. N is square. Man. Can that. you do it a different way? Ten times. Uh, yeah. Exponent way. Exponent way. Sure. So there is a kind of invisible one here. Okay. Invisible one here. All right. So remember. When you are multiplying exponent, you have to add the Power. powers. Okay. So one plus one, add them up. So that's gonna give you two. Very good. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, very nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's make it a little complicated. And uh, multiplication is a, a repeated addition, right? Repeated so, addition. Yeah. All right. So let's do two, four, uh, nine, uh, multiply by uh, uh -huh. fifty-six. Fifty. Okay, so I have to uh, stack them up, right? Sure, stack them, stack up. them up. So let me remember the number two, four, nine, five, six. You can put two, it over four, here. Nine. You can stack them on the oh, top okay. of each other. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So two. Uh, yeah, four, please don't take that much space. Oh, okay. Two, four, nine, and and fifty-six. Fifty-six. Okay. okay. So first thing I'm gonna do. Six times nine. All right. So six times nine is gonna give me four. Mm -hmm. But now I know not to put the five here. That's true. That blocks the next mm -hmm. one. So I'm gonna kind of carry the five. Yeah, please do. Carry the five. So now I'm gonna do six times four, uh -huh. which is twenty-four. Twenty-four. But don't forget to add the five. Right. So that twenty-four gonna become twenty-nine. Mm -hmm. And instead of carrying a five, 
Now I'm getting a two. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like extra baggage.